Hello, I'm David Chaston with 98.9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This is where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, with the news focused back on Greece. But first, new orders for American factory goods recorded their biggest increase in eight months in March, boosted by demand for airplanes. However, the underlying trend is not so impressive. Even less impressive is the latest factory data out of China. Their factories suffered their fastest drop in activity in a year in April as new orders shrank, hardening the case for fresh stimulus measures to halt their slowdown. The same data out of the Eurozone was relatively positive, although France is definitely not a bright spot. And things have turned positively grim in Greece. Not only is their factory sector contracting, there is strong new evidence their government is domestically insolvent and they have now lost their only European friend. The IMF is now cracking the whip. The big problem is that during the recent negotiations, Greece has made virtually no effort at all on reform. EU anger is palpable. The crisis is coming to a head fast. Back in New York, the US Treasury 10-year benchmark yield rose again earlier today to 2.14%. US oil price held at $59 a barrel, while Brent crude held at $66 a barrel in today's trading. The gold price, however, recovered some of its recent losses as now at $1,189 an ounce. New Zealand dollar starts today marginally higher at 75.3 US cents, 96.1 Aussie cents and 67.6 Euro cents. The TWI is now at 79.2. And finally, at 4.30 today, the Reserve Bank of Australia is widely tipped to, to cut its official policy interest rate for the second time this year. That's despite some signs their economy may be stabilising. If that actually happens, that would take their OCR down to 2% compared with our 3.5%. I'm David Chaston. That was 98.9 brought to you by interest.co.nz.